Woo! Hey everyone, this is Dara from Daily Crypto Trade Simulus coming to you live from Vietnam, guys. It's a great time to be alive. And you know, believe it or not, believe it or not, uh, I think that there's some good uh, goodness coming out of this whole flush out, guys. And we're going to talk about that much, much more. We're also going to talk about, uh, you know, Three Arrows Capital. What's going on with those uh, chuckleheads out there? We're also going to talk about Celsius. Looks like the uh, government and the Fed is absolutely, you know, doing a deep dive into Celsius. And uh, hopefully there can, there can be some recompense for all the Celsius holders that are having their money held hostage on Celsius and hopefully can get some release and get some kind of, uh, you know, some clarity out there. And it was also kind of weird today that, uh, you know, Celsius was scheduled to do a live uh, AMA today. And so, you know, they had 2,000 people waiting for the live uh, AMA on uh, YouTube and suddenly, mysteriously, the, uh, the the video vanished, guys. So what's up with that? What is up with that? We need we need some clarity out there, uh, you know, from Celsius. What are you guys doing out there? Uh, you know, if you guys can't pay at least come out and say you can't pay you know stop uh, stop hiding the inevitable guys so everything you see here is not financial advice it's just the og in the house expressing his opinion i'm not a licensed financial advisor but you knew that already so guys let's jump in the content right now without any further delay and just before we get to the charts and all the news and stuff, you know, what we're seeing right now is, you know, we're seeing the absolute consequences of over leverage, bad management and bad risk management. And I think what we're seeing right now is we're seeing a huge flush out of all of these snowflake knucklehead companies like Three Arrows Capital, like Celsius, uh, like Babel, who basically just ran in, went crazy, leveraged the crap out of their positions and now they're paying for it because it's it's it, it, you know when you when you have a liquidity problem uh it's pure risk management it's pure bad risk management and they failed to to risk to manage their risk and it just goes to show that you know the heads of these projects they have absolutely no idea what they were doing they they were complete cowboys out there and you know they did not think about how can they manage and mitigate the risk out there they just didn't do that because if they had if they known how to mitigate the risk they would have kept enough dry powder in reserves so there wouldn't be a liquidity run they would have calculated and prevented you know they would have calculated for the worst case scenario so we wouldn't be seeing babel capital babel finance going tankity tank we wouldn't be seeing celsius going tankity tank we wouldn't be seeing you know uh you know three arrows capital and not only that you'll and later i'll show you that a lot of three arrows capital they actually lent money to a lot of uh DeFi projects out there and uh you know and they offered these DeFi projects eight percent uh return if they could hold their treasury so a lot of these DeFi projects because uh three arrows capital is holding their treasury these uh you know decentralized finance companies they might be also going under because three arrows capital is not releasing the funds back to them so we could be seeing a more and more projects uh dying out there so you know from that perspective you know this is when this is actually you know believe it or not this is good because it's flushing out all the idiots all the snowflakes and also we're seeing that a lot of these you know these horrible crypto projects uh that are just rug pulls and designed to you know take your money out there we're also seeing that these guys are going to evaporate poof, like like uh, like never before so that is good for the whole space let's clear out the garbage let's flush all of these turds down the toilet whoosh, and you know let's let's clean it out guys so you know this is i believe this is the whole the biggest cleanup we've ever seen out there and you know one of the reasons that we're here today is because we have you know inflation uh, you know went up uh you know 8.6% in the previous months it was 8.2 uh so people thought that you know last month that's it you know uh, inflation is going to go down everything's going to be hunky dory and then boom bam thanks you know wham wham bam thank you ma'am uh what did we see we saw the inflation went up so you know that scared the bejesus out of the market and also too we saw that the fed increased the um, rate, rate hike 75 basis points and that's just insane guys and that's why we're here today we're seeing that you know the mortgages for houses are insane we're seeing gas is insane we're seeing you know full full blown inflation could we be heading to a recession uh, you know the gdp numbers are saying yeah because gdp is going to be going down uh right now unemployment is still up so from that perspective we're not there yet but if unemployment starts to tankity chang chang then definitely we're going to be going into full blown uh recession out there so let's get into the content without any further delay remember i'm not a licensed financial advisor don't forget to boop the likes or not or not if you hate the OG don't boop the likes guys I, I would I don't care and uh, remember subscribe if you want 
go down there, check out all the links, get the merch, guys, all that stuff. Show some love. Who's Super Chats in the house, guys? So I'm doing this for you. I love the community. So right now we're seeing that the Bitcoin is at 20416 We're also going to hear from Kramer. And, you know, Kramer, uh, you know, Kramer from Scorkbox, he's talking about uh, where he thinks uh, Bitcoin is going. And remember, whatever, whenever Kramer opens his mouth, the opposite happens, guys. So no, let's get ready for that one. So right now we're seeing that, uh, you know, itty bitty baby is right now at uh, 20, uh, 20,415. And like I said, it's kind of been going sideways right now. I believe that we got some really good support at 19,632. We need to get ourselves up above uh, 21,030 to 21,600. That's kind of the range that we need to get up to. If we cannot get up, if we cannot get up to my yellow line, then, you know, there's definitely, uh, you know, there's definitely a high degree probability, high degree of probability out there that we could be seeing 19,600 uh, out there. So, you know, it is what it is, guys. Uh, but I believe it or not, believe it or not, I think this is actually good for the crypto community. I think this is actually good for the crypto markets. Let's flush out all of the snowflake knucklehead projects, all the badly managed projects. You know, these these crypto cowboys that thought they could, they could, you know, just keep on going up forever, not installing any risk management. So that is what's going on, guys. So let's keep on keeping on. But, you know, if uh, Bitcoin just continues to go sideways, that's better than dropping, right? Boys and girls. So from that perspective, I'm I'm okay with that, right? And, you know, it looks like a you know, if you, if you just imagine, uh, you know, where Bitcoin was uh, in 2019 and 2015, you could see that, you know, this is not the time to be giving up. Because if you give up now, you're going to regret it like crazy because I believe that this is in the, in the indicative of, of the, the bull run that's about to start. Because these are the tops. We saw the RSI uh, here. Let me just get the, make that bigger for you. So, you know, we did see the RSI at the tops here, you know, around about 95 to 100. And right now we're seeing that you know the RSI is below uh, 50 and this is often indicative of a bottom so I believe the bottom is in and if you sell now you will be regretting it trust me trust me out there you're gonna regret it and you're not gonna you're not gonna love yourself anymore because you guys have missed a whole you know, a, a fantastic opportunity out there. Just adjusting the camera exposure. So beat me up in the comments. And so you can see that time and time again, you know, when we RSI, uh, you know, gets to around this level, 42.96, we often see a reversal. We saw it here. We saw it here back in 2015. So guys, the bottom is in. I think the bottom, sure, we, we may go down to 19,000, but you know, $1,000 variance for Bitcoin is nothing, guys. So don't beat me up in the comments. Don't get all, don't get all nit and picky out there. Uh, I'm an OG, guys. I'm too old to be nitpick. I'm too old to be nitpick guys so don't do that just absolutely don't do that and uh, you know let's listen let's listen to Kramer and us what he's got to say about Bitcoin uh, he thinks that Bitcoin's gonna go to 14,000 let's take a listen to our Kramer. I remember anytime Kramer says something the opposite absolutely happens Pretty negative on Bitcoin so uh, the, the market can can uh, bounce but Bitcoin goes to zero or did you hear Tim Armstrong? Well, he, he's, he's pretty smart. Uh, you, do you think Bitcoin bounces from here or is it over? Yeah I think well look I think the people who are involved with Bitcoin have to take another stand you know, like I like Novogratz. He was out there yesterday. We need we need some guys to just say, look, this is the level. That's typical of what happens when when you're when it's about to really drop big. Uh, so they just come on air and they say, listen, I'm a buyer. So you think it's yesterday, going down like, a lot we, had, from... we had Sailor the other day. I mean, yeah. I mean, hello. Come on, Grammar. If they change the margin rates on crypto, he'd be out in a second. Come on, so Grammar. I, I do think that they have to make a stand show. Okay, can't let it go down anymore. Whoever the day but is, they got to just, you think it they got to hold. I mean, it's kind of like Braveheart cool? with that thing. You saying it goes down another 50% or, or, or another 100%? I think it goes to 12,000. So what Kramer is saying is he thinks it's going to go to 12,000. Let's see. But, you know, I'm glad that Kramer came out and said 12,000 because typically anytime Kramer opens his fat trap mouth, often the opposite happens, guys. So that is what's going to happen. It's going to go up, guys. It's got to go up because Kramer opened his mouth. So let's take a look at the heat, heat map. So the heat map is mixed right now at time of recording. We're seeing that, you know, itty bitty baby is up about 1.49%. Thank goodness for that. And we're seeing that Ethereum is still going down, guys. And I believe it could go down sub 1,000. And guys and gals, can you believe it? The fear and greed index is at six. I have never ever seen it this low in my entire life as a human being and an alien out there. You know, I've never seen it. I've never seen it this low. So this is fantastic. And you know, what this is telling me is that the bottom has got to be in because, you know, what are we going to do? Go to zero on this one? I don't think we're going to get that low, guys. So, you know, yesterday the, the U.S. markets, they closed 
they closed mix. You know, we saw the Dow Jones uh, was down slightly, 0.13%. We saw the S&P was up just, just a titty tat. But we did see the NASDAQ, uh, you know, fire back. Uh, but that was because yesterday was a complete bloodbath uh, for the NASDAQ. It was down almost like uh, 4%, right? So, you know, it's inevitable that it comes back. And, you know, what, what do I think is going to happen this weekend? Well, I think this weekend it's going to be you know, pretty much crabby, crabby walking for most of cryptos. I don't think uh, there's going to be much happening. I think everybody, most of the traders are exhausted right now. Most of the sellers and buyers are kind of ex exhausted. We're seeing that a lot of the retail uh, buyers are exhausted on the sidelines. And, you know, we're seeing a huge institutional flush out, right? And so, you know, right now we see the SEC, state regulators probe crypto lender Celsius over account freeze. So, you know, a lot of uh, the government is not happy about what's going on with Celsius. This is, you know, this is not good for crypto space because, you know, when the government's not happy, uh, you know, Gary Gensler in the house, he's going to use this against the crypto community. And what he's going to do out there is he's going to say, well, look at Celsius, look at Luna. And, uh, you know, these, uh, you know, these big projects uh, with uh, billions of dollars worth of capital just tanked, like, like, you know, imploded, uh, you know, like, like, like that. And it lost a lot of, left a lot of people holding the bag. And we got Do Kwan, he's under investigation for tax evasion, embezzlement. So that, that guy's going to need, uh, you know, uh, uh, you know, a, a six pack of rope on a soap because he's definitely going to be, uh, you know, somebody's boyfriend. That's for sure. Uh, so, you know, you know, Doquan, you're going to get yours, guys. So, you know, this is also coming in. Three arrows back protocol says a major chunk of the treasuries is unaccounted for. So, you know, there was a funding round by three arrows capital to a lot of these decentralized uh, projects. And what happened is, you know, they said, look, uh, you know, decentralized projects, um, you know, if you let us hold your treasury, uh, we'll give you 8% APY. So the, a lot of uh, decentralized finance uh, companies said, yeah, that's that's good. We'll take the 8% finance. But the thing is, uh, since that uh, block or the since that uh, protocol uh, three hours protocol i can't get my words right i don't know what's going on with me and uh you know basically these uh, DeFi companies handed over their treasuries to uh you know three hours uh, capital and uh because three hours capital is basically at margin calls uh you know the whole 500 million dollar investment in uh, luna that's now worth five five dollars and 27 cents and you know their whole margin calls that we saw on ftx and and uh you know a lot of other platforms and basically uh, three hours capital is out of there so a lot of these uh you know back protocols that uh, gave the treasury to uh to three arrows they're like they're they're in big trouble now because they don't have their treasury and they've been asking they've been asking they've been demanding uh you know some clarity and basically you know what's happened is you know th three hours is not responding so this is going to create even more bloodshed uh because we're going to see a lot of uh, De DeFi projects actually starting to tank it tank tank right now so that's what's going on from that perspective uh you know so it's not it's not good news at all if we if we take a look at uh, bitcoin uh the 200 week moving average we still got to get ourselves above that uh, to make any momentum and headway. But, you know, uh, don't give up now. This is a huge opportunity to be buying. I think we're going to see a reversal coming in pretty soon. So I'm pretty bullish about that. You know, Mike Mike McGlone says that 20000 is the new 5000 for Bitcoin. And there's a lot of hedge, hedge funds out there who still believe that $100,000 Bitcoin is still Bitcoin, Bitcoin, Bitcoin. That's a, that's a new coin, guy, Bitcoin. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> Bitcoin could still get to $100,000 out there. And I still, I still think we're going to get there. It's an Inevitable. It's just a matter of time. Could it be by the end of this year? Yeah, possible. Could it be by uh, September? Possible. And who knows, guys? Anything is possible right now. And I think that we are still going to be going up, up, up like crazy out there. If we take a look at a Bitcoin on the weekly right now, we are still uh, just at the minor capitulation line. So keep an eye on that. You mean the miners did sell at thirty thousand dollars? They sold a whole ton of a Bitcoin. But since then, they kind of eased off on selling because I think that uh, they know that uh, Bitcoin's going to be coming back up. Oh, pretty up, up. So from that perspective. Uh, so, you know, this is also coming in. Dogecoin does not get its credit and deserves for f f uh, furthering crypto adoption, says Robin Hood of uh, Exec. So you guys know that Robin Hood was a, you know, Robin Hood and uh, Dogecoin was a huge catalyst. And that attracted a lot of newbies into the crypto space. And a lot of people, you know, a lot of people Debbie Downing on uh, Dogecoin, a lot of people forgetting about that. But I really believe that, uh, you know, Dogecoin was a catalyst and it really helped to bring a lot of uh, liquidity into the space. Sure, we're seeing a lot of that liquidity flow out now because 
because you know the total market cap cap right now uh, is uh, you know it's it's not good it's uh, below 900 billion that's not good we're seeing the volumes are really light I think like I said the sellers and buyers are exhausted right now Bitcoin dominance is going down so that is pretty good from that perspective so you know that is that is pretty good guys we're seeing Bitcoin dominance going down we're seeing the DXY going up that's not good and a lot of it has to do with that the Japanese uh, government what they're doing is they're trashing their fiat currency uh, to uh, you know save off inflation out there so that's what's going on from that perspective and we're seeing right now that the uh, let me give this a minute to refresh that a lot of the leverage traders out there uh, they're also getting exhausted as well so you know we need to flush out all this leverage and we re basically need to rebalance and restabilize the whole crypto market so we're seeing a lot of uh, leverage traders are also getting exhausted that's why we have 99 million dollars worth of uh, leverage age been wrecked and uh, that's only 40,000 uh, traders so that is that is pretty low 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 out there guys and we're seeing that you know the majority of wreckage is coming from Bitcoin and Ethereum and we're seeing right now that on the hourly it's mainly long so that's not going to be good for a Bitcoin price we could see a bit of a drop -y drop drop right there so from that perspective if we take a look at the Dogecoin price right now Dogecoin is trading at 0 0.561 cents so it's just going sideways it's doing the crappy walk from that perspective uh, you know so you know this is also coming in from uh, you know Billy Marcus and he's saying it would be cool if people could uh, keep working on it and adding utility so we really need to have more utility for Dogecoin we definitely need that we need the Dogecoin tippy jar we need the uh, Doge one SpaceX to the moon and we really need Elon Musk to start accepting uh, Dogecoin to buy a Tesla these are some of the things that we 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 need guys and we need to build in more utility for Dogecoin the community is still strong the community is still loving so don't give up on the Doge I'm not giving up on the Doge I'm not giving up on you out there I think this is a merry great time to be alive guys so from that perspective let's take a look at uh, let's take a look at Ethereum price right now so Ethereum is at, at 1075 right now it's also going sideways uh, I think uh, I think definitely we're going to be seeing Ethereum going down to 800 bucks in the house so that's not going to be good from that perspective we're seeing ADA still just going sideways as well so we're going to see I believe we're not going to see much volatility we're going to see basically a sideways trading action we could be seeing a lot of sideways action for the next week or so and let's see what happens guys because I think basically the sellers and buyers are exhausted we need to flush out all this leverage we're going to see the more collapse of a lot of uh, crypto companies out there and that overall is going to be good for cryptocurrency believe it or not I think this is a good this whole flush out is very good and we're seeing right now that uh, you know Bitcoin could start uh, moving into a uh, green territory soon Ethereum is having a hard time it's just above a thousand bucks it definitely will be going below a thousand bucks BNB is struggling to hold uh, 200 bucks ADA is also down right now but it's, it's been pretty resilient Solana is down Doge is actually positive right now so go Doge go we love the Doge so from that perspective it's going to bring this video to a closey woozy woozy don't forget to follow me on Twitter guys and uh, do it right now don't forget to smash the likes boot the likes go down there check out all the linking links you want it I want to get it get it get it and guys don't forget to get the merch get the cup to cup get the mug to mug show some love show some love for the OG guys I'm working for you with this channel it wouldn't be possible without my community out there and one last time smash the likes guys I love you guys be blessed go with God guys have a fantastic day hug your wife hug your kids have a great weekend guys uh, peace out